Hey, what's up? Welcome to Tech Buzz. My name is Jupiter. Today we're going to take a look at another MIDI PC from Beelink, the ACR4-4800U. From the product naming, it's easy to know that this thing rocks an AMD Ryzen 7 4800U processor. Of course, there's also Radeon graphics, dual-channel memory, and NVMe drive. The Beelink ACR4 also supports Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. The packaging looks simple and attractive, but there's nothing too fancy about it. You will find the main specs on the back of the box. The unit that I received has 32GB memory and 500GB SSD. Inside the box you will find a 57W power adapter, two HDMI cables, one is shorter than the other. A VISA mount that can be used for attaching the MIDI PC onto the back of a display. There's also a user guide in many different languages. The Beelink ACR4 looks similar to the ACR3 in many ways. They are basically the same in terms of shape and size. Personally, I'm glad that Beelink didn't change too much about the design because it's gorgeous. Despite its small size, the ACR4 has a lot of connectors. On the front, you will find a 3.5mm audio jack, two USB 3.0 and a multifunction Type-C. The USB-C port here also supports DisplayPort 1.2. On the back side, you will find one more USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, an RJ45 Ethernet jack, a DC in, and two HDMI 2.0. You may have already noticed that gives the ACR4 the potential to drive three 4K displays at once. Because the ACR4 is powered by an AMD chip, there's no support for Thunderbolt protocols. But if you don't need an external GPU, it won't make much difference. The vents on the two side panels are coated in red. But whether you like it or not will come down to personal preference. The chassis is made of aluminum, so it will be able to take a fair amount of reasonable office abuse. The build quality is also excellent. The surface of the case is quite smooth, and none of the panels tend to flex, even when I impose some serious force onto them. Getting inside the system couldn't be easier. The panel underneath the chassis can be easily removed once you extract all four screws. This reveals the two DDR4 3200MHz memory slots, a 2.5-inch SSD mounting area, as well as access to the M.2 NVMe slot. Installing a 2.5-inch SSD can be extremely easy. Just push it into the slot and you're done. The CPU and the cooling fan are on the other side of the motherboard. Measuring only 5 inches wide, 4.4 inches deep, and just 1.5 inches in height. The ACI is only one-sixth of the size of the new Mac Studio. It easily fits on any desk, no matter how small that desk might be. The ACI ships with licensed Windows 11 Pro, which offers more features than the Windows Home Edition, such as being able to join a domain, Hyper-V for virtualization, enterprise data protection containers, etc. But for average consumers, you probably won't feel any difference. The operating system here is also a completely clean version, with no pre-installed third-party applications or any type of bloatware. The ACR4 is powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 4800U processor, which is a 7nm Zen 2 based APU that has 8 CPU cores, 16 threads, as well as integrated Radeon graphics GPU. There are also 32GB dual-channel memory and a 500GB NVMe drive in my unit. Although the Ryzen 7 4800U is more than two years old, it is still a force to be reckoned with, and it is shown in the benchmark scores. In the CPU crunching Cinebench R23 test, the ACR4 scored 1248 in single core, 8492 in multi core, beating the Apple Mac Mini and both variants of the Intel Lac 11 Pro. In the older Cinebench R20, the test results and the rankings were similar to the R23. Comparing the ACR4 to the Intel Lac 11 Pros using Geekbench 5 also tells a similar story. 
Intel has an edge in single core performance, but in multi core, the AMD chip is a lot more powerful. The ACR4 also scored 5177 in the standard PC Mark 10 test, ranking above both variants of the Intel Lucky 11 Pro. In everyday use, it's highly unlikely you will notice any difference in single core performance. But if you decide to edit some high res images or 4K videos, then the multi core ability of the AMD chip will shine through. The M.2 NVMe SSD is not the fastest we've seen, but it's still NVMe, which is more than ideal for booting Windows and all your favorite apps. The unit that I received comes with two crucial memory sticks. This dual channel memory setup guarantees high overall bandwidth and throughput speed. In the Ada 64 kick and memory benchmark, the read, write, and copy speeds of the 32GB memory are decent, but the 95.6 nanosecond latency is not the best we've seen. The performance of the integrated GPU also benefits greatly from dual channel memory. Most of the numbers in the GP GPU test result look lovely. The integrated Radeon graphics GPU here isn't powerful enough to make the ECR4 a proper gaming machine, but it is still reasonably capable. In 3D Mark, the ECR4 scored 1420 in Time Spy, 3573 in Fire Strike, 13036 in Skydiver. Running Genshin Impact at 1080p and medium settings, the average frame rate was 44 frames per second. Not great, but still generally smooth the whole time. Spellbreak, also at 1080p and medium settings, returned very similar results. League of Legends at 1080p and medium settings, we saw an average of 128 frames per second. Even when I switched to 4K and high settings, it was still super smooth. The frame rate was above 60 FPS the whole time. However, Conker's Blade at 1080p was a little bit too much for the ACR4 to handle. The average frame rate was only 22 FPS. Well, it's still playable, but it's definitely not enjoyable. Probably the best way to play this game and titles more demanding than this one is to turn down the resolution and settings. At 720p and no settings, the smoothness was greatly improved. Nobody should buy this thing for gaming, but it's good to know if you want to play games every now and then, you can actually have a good time. And when it comes to video playback, the ACR4 is also quite capable. According to DXVA Checker, the Radeon Graphics GPU can support most of the codecs up to 4K and 8K. When I was playing an 8K video from the hard drive, the playback was extremely smooth, and it's not putting too much stress on the processor. Streaming 4K YouTube videos in Chrome was also quite smooth, no frame skip at all, and it's not putting too much pressure on the CPU or the GPU. However, Streaming 8K videos in the browser was a completely different story. CPU usage was 100%, and the playback was far from smooth. The ACR4 is actually quite power efficient. The power draw is only 5 watts at idle over the course of 2 hours. Only when I was playing some intensive games or running benchmarks, the power draw exceeded 30 watts. The cooling fan was spin up when the system is on a node, but fortunately, it's never turned out for comfort. This computer supports the latest Wi-Fi 6E technology, also known as Wi-Fi 6 Extended. It allows the PC to use the 6 GHz band, which in return brings more bandwidth, faster speeds, and no latency. If Wi-Fi wasn't enough for you, you can always rely on the RJ45 Ethernet jack for wired internet access. Beating has put a lot of performance and features into a tidy box. The Ryzen 7 4800U chipset delivers terrific performance, while the abundance of upgrade options and connectors makes it supremely versatile. It also runs cool, quiet, and consumes very little energy, which is perfect for both home and office environment. If you want a Windows-based MIDI PC for your everyday computing, the Beating ACR4 is one of the smallest 
and also one of the best options out there. Okay, that's all for today's review. If you have more questions about this product, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section below. I am Jupiter and this is TechBuzz. Hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.